Why don't scientists trust atoms? Because they make up everything. Get it? Okay, maybe that's not the funniest joke, but understanding the universe requires a sense of humor, especially when we're talking about something as mind-boggling as light speed. So buckle up, space cadets. We're about to embark on a journey to explore the universe at its fastest speed, the speed of light, and why trying to travel at that speed might just cause the universe to throw in the towel. Light speed. It's the universe's ultimate speed limit, a blistering 299,792,458 meters per second, approximately 186,282 miles per second. That's seriously fast. To put it into perspective, if you could travel at the speed of light, you could go around the Earth seven and a half times in just one second. Imagine the possibilities. You could have breakfast in New York, lunch in Paris, and dinner in Tokyo, all within the same day without even breaking a sweat. To put it into perspective, light could circle the Earth over seven times in just one second. Imagine that commute. No more traffic jams, no more waiting in line, just pure, unadulterated speed. But light speed isn't just about getting from point A to point B quickly. It's also about the incredible distances it can cover. For instance, light from the sun takes just over eight minutes to reach us here on Earth. That's 93 million miles in just eight minutes. It's mind-boggling when you think about it. But what exactly is light speed? It's not just a number. It's a fundamental constant of nature. Light speed is the speed at which light travels in a vacuum, free from any interference or obstacles. This speed is crucial for our understanding of the universe. It sets the ultimate speed limit for how fast information and matter can travel. Nothing can go faster than light in a vacuum, making it a cornerstone of modern physics. It's the speed at which light travels in a vacuum. This means that in the emptiness of space, light can travel vast distances without being slowed down. It's like having a superhighway with no speed limits and no traffic. This incredible speed allows us to see distant stars and galaxies some of which are millions or even billions of light years away. When we look at these celestial objects, we're actually looking back in time, seeing them as they were when their light first started its journey to us. Think of it as the universe's information superhighway, carrying everything from the light of distant stars to the signals that power our cell phones. This superhighway is essential for our modern world. Without it, we wouldn't have GPS, satellite communications, or even the internet as we know it. Light speed enables us to explore the cosmos, communicate instantly across the globe, and even understand the fundamental laws of physics. It's not just a speed, it's a gateway to understanding the universe and our place within it. Here's the catch. Nothing with mass can travel at the speed of light. This isn't just a minor inconvenience. It's a fundamental law of our universe. It's like a cosmic rule written into the very fabric of the universe by none other than Albert Einstein himself. His groundbreaking work in the early 20th century changed our understanding of space, time, and energy forever. His theory of special relativity tells us that as an object with mass approaches the speed of light, its mass increases infinitely. Imagine trying to push a boulder up a hill, and the boulder keeps getting heavier the closer you get to the top. That's what happens with mass and light speed. To reach the speed of light, you'd need an infinite amount of energy, which, last time I checked, is a bit hard to come by, even with my cosmic connections. The energy requirements are so astronomical that even the most powerful cosmic events, like supernovae or black hole mergers, can't provide enough energy to propel a mass to light speed. Scientists have tried to get as close as possible using particle accelerators, like the Large Hadron Collider. These machines can accelerate particles to speeds just shy of the speed of light, but even they hit a wall when it comes to reaching that ultimate speed limit. The dream of faster-than-light travel has inspired countless works of science fiction, from warp drives to wormholes. But as of now, these remain firmly in the realm of imagination. Our current understanding of physics simply doesn't allow for such possibilities. So, while the universe is vast and full of wonders, we're bound by this great cosmic speed limit. It reminds us of the incredible forces at play in the cosmos and the limits of our current technology and understanding. But who knows? The quest for knowledge is never ending. Perhaps one day we'll uncover new physics that will allow us to break this cosmic speed limit. Until then, 
we continue to explore and learn, pushing the boundaries of what we know and what we can achieve. The journey of discovery is just as important as the destination. And in this vast, mysterious universe, there's always something new to uncover, some new frontier to explore. The great cosmic speed limit may be a barrier, but it's also a challenge, a call to push the limits of human ingenuity and curiosity. So we've established that reaching the speed of light is a no-go for us massive beings. But what if we could somehow bend the rules a little? What if, just for a moment, we imagined the impossible and pondered the consequences of traveling at light speed? Hold on to your hats, because things are about to get really interesting. And by interesting, I mean potentially catastrophic for the entire universe. Section 5. The Big Crunch, Traveling at Light Speed and Universal Collapse Okay, imagine this, a spaceship defying all known laws of physics, hits the gas pedal and accelerates to the speed of light. What happens? This is not just a wild science fiction scenario, it's a thought experiment that has fascinated scientists and dreamers alike for decades. The speed of light, approximately 299,792 kilometers per second, is the ultimate speed limit in our universe according to Einstein's theory of relativity. But what if we could break this limit? What if our spaceship could somehow achieve this incredible velocity? Well, according to some theories, the universe might just go crunch. This idea is rooted in the concept of the Big Crunch, a hypothetical scenario for the ultimate fate of the universe. In this scenario, the expansion of the universe eventually reverses, causing everything to collapse back into a singular point, much like the reverse of the Big Bang. The Big Crunch theory suggests that the universe's expansion is not infinite and that gravitational forces will eventually pull everything back together. You see, the universe is constantly expanding, like a balloon being inflated. This expansion was first observed by Edwin Hubble in the 1920s, who discovered that galaxies are moving away from us in all directions. This observation led to the formulation of the Big Bang Theory, which posits that the universe began as a singular, incredibly dense and hot point and has been expanding ever since. The rate of this expansion is measured by the Hubble constant, and recent observations suggest that the expansion is actually accelerating. But the gravity from all the matter in the universe is trying to pull it back together. Gravity is the force that attracts two bodies towards each other, and it acts on all matter in the universe. While the expansion of the universe is driven by dark energy, a mysterious force that counteracts gravity, the gravitational pull of all the matter in the universe is still significant. If the density of the universe is high enough, this gravitational pull could eventually overcome the expansion, leading to a collapse. Traveling at light speed could disrupt this delicate balance, causing everything to collapse back in on itself in a reverse, big bang, a big crunch, if you will. The idea is that the immense energy required to accelerate a spaceship to the speed of light could have unforeseen consequences on the fabric of space-time. This energy could potentially create a ripple effect, disturbing the equilibrium of the universe and triggering a collapse. While this is purely speculative, it highlights the profound interconnectedness of all things in the universe and the delicate balance that sustains it. But wait, there's more! Traveling at light speed wouldn't just mess with gravity, it would also play havoc with time. Einstein's theory of special relativity tells us that time is relative. The faster you travel, the slower time moves for you relative to someone standing still. At the speed of light, time would essentially stop. You'd be frozen in time while the universe around you continued to age and evolve, or collapse depending on how our little light speed joyride affects things. And if that's not mind-boggling enough, consider this. Some scientists believe that traveling at light speed could bring us dangerously close to black holes, those cosmic vacuum cleaners that gobble up everything in their path, including light itself. And if we're really lucky, we might even stumble upon a wormhole, a theoretical shortcut through space-time that could transport us to different points in space or even time itself. Now, wouldn't that be a trip? Section 8, The Universe in a Grain of Sand Thinking about light speed and its implications is like holding the entire universe in the palm of your hand. It's a reminder of just how much we don't know and how much there is still to discover out there in the vast cosmic ocean. It's a humbling and awe-inspiring thought, isn't it? 
Section 9, The Future of Speed. So, while we may not be able to travel at the speed of light anytime soon or ever, that doesn't mean we should stop dreaming about the possibilities. Who knows what the future holds? Perhaps one day we'll develop technologies that allow us to bend the rules of physics and explore the universe at speeds that would make even light itself jealous. Section 10, keep exploring. For now, let's keep our feet on the ground, or at least in Earth's orbit, and keep exploring the universe around us. There's still so much to learn, and who knows what amazing discoveries await us just beyond the horizon. Section 11, join the cosmic adventure. If you enjoyed this cosmic adventure, be sure to like, subscribe, and share this article with your fellow space enthusiasts. Let's keep the conversation going and continue to explore the wonders of the universe together.